So I figure I'll go for a walk in a beautiful park. Eisenhower Park, Long Island. Long Island, New York. See, this park is beautiful. Take a nice stroll. So, you barbers, whenever you don't have clients in your chair, or you don't have any appointments, or whatever, all right, go take a nice walk. Take a little walk around your neighborhood. Talk to people, say hello to people. Give out your business cards if you do. Give out your booking information. It's important to do that. Because what you want to do is you want to continue to build your clientele. That's one effective way to do it. Get to know the people in your neighborhood that you're servicing. When you get to know everybody and they get to know you. Even if they're not your client at the current moment, at some point they will be. Because they'll remember your face, they remember your name, and how polite you was. When the time comes and they know they need a service from you, or they need a haircut of some sort, and they don't have anywhere to, like say, their regular barber is not around, they say, oh man, remember the guy I met? Let me go to his shop and check him out. And that's your opportunity to lace them and hook them in as a permanent client. So, and it's also good for your blood circulation. You know, go walking. You don't have any clients. Instead of sitting in the chair doing nothing, watching TV, go for a walk. Go walk around a block or something. Like, just go walking. The point of your life is to completely enjoy it. If you're not enjoying your life, then you need to look deep within yourself, see what your issues are, and then make some adjustments. I believe, I have this philosophy that I believe, that if you're gonna be up, let's say for the next 16 hours throughout the day, every minute of those 16 hours, you should be doing what you want to do what you love to do. You should be enjoying every minute of your life. That's what you should be doing. Even down to the way you earn your living, the way you make your money, you should be enjoying it. That's why I cut hair. That's why I'm a barber. Being a creative is something that I enjoy. It's a passion of mine. I have a trade. I'm a jeweler by trade. I used to make platinum jewelry. Which is why I don't wear jewelry. Like, I don't really care for it. I made it for a living from scratch. I make the jewelry, then it goes to the diamond setter. They may put the diamonds and the rubies, whatever they're gonna do to it, and then it goes to the store. But everything began with me in that process of making jewelry. So, I don't care about it. Nothing, nothing impresses me. I don't care what kind of car you drive, I don't care what kind of house you have, kind of how much money you have, how much jewelry and diamonds you have. I don't care about none of that. Been there, done it. Back to what I was saying. Everything you do, you should enjoy it. So if I'm going to be awake for the next 16 hours, I'm going to spend those 16 hours doing what brings me pleasure and joy. So me cutting the hair, servicing people, running my business. I own a few studios. So doing things like this, that's, that's my joy. I, I make my living doing what I wanna do. If I decide, you know what, let me take tomorrow off. I just feel like taking a day off. I can do that. I have the complete freedom to control my schedule, you know? If I want to go get a massage, go to the spa, do something like that, I can do that when I feel like doing it. That's the agenda, to get to the point in your life where you can do that. You can just do what you want, when you want to do it. Same thing, if I feel like eating at a certain restaurant on any given day, after work I'll go do it. Or if I'm off, I'll just go do it. No restrictions. You know, and that's, that's how we should live our lives. We should be living our life enjoying what we want to do not working until we're 62 years old then waiting to retire to get a pension and shit 
You mean tell me I gotta wait till I'm 62 years old and retired to get a pension in order for me to start my life? To start living? No. I'm 43 years old. I've been doing this a long time. I got started early. I believe in living my life now. Let me live now. Which is the point. Your happiness and sharing your happiness and your love with your loved ones. No money can help you. No car can help you. No house can help you. None of these things can help you. None of it. It's all about your time. Learn and put a plan in place for you to own your time. You wake up every day and you go to work for a company that will replace you at the blink of an eye. You don't own your time. You sell your time to these people and they pay you an hourly rate. Then if you want a day off, you gotta get it approved. You gotta put the, you know, put the request in, stuff like that. Not everyone is meant to be an entrepreneur or self-employed or whatever, but understand, put yourself in a position to own your time as soon as possible. As soon as possible. It's the only way to live because your time is something you can't get back. You can't get your time back. You know? Whatever you do for the next hour, that hour is going to come and it's going to go. There's no getting it back. The money you can make back, you can get that back. Anything else you can get back. But the time you can't. So spend it the way you want to spend it. If you're unhappy with your life circumstances, put a plan in place and execute the plan to get you where you want to be. So you can put yourself in a better position. So you can be happy with who you are and where you are.